everybody. I thought I would do an update on my uh, project pad. Um, so I decided to do the um, joining the uh, Beauty News Girls team project pad this year. Um, so I'm going to go through. Um, sorry, I'm going to look at my phone for the spreadsheet. Um, go through some of the things that I've got progress on. I won't um, worry too much about the things that I don't have any progress on at all. Um, so the first um, items they had on the spreadsheet that I've got some usage in are foundations. So I've got a whole heap of old um, Avon and drugstore ones that I want to try and get rid of. They're all now probably under half full. Um, so I really would like to try and clear a couple of those out. Um, so I've got a Rimmel one. As you can see... Um, that is where I am now up to. Um, the grey mark was where I was at the beginning of the year. However, I do think that that tape moved. I think the tape was up higher. Now it's down there. Um, so this one is now 30 grams. And it started at 31 grams at the beginning of the year. Um, some other foundations I've got are this Ideal Shade Freshener Finish from Avon. Um, again, a little bit of usage on that one. Um, it has been a while since I've marked it. Um, and that one uh, was started off at 22 grams. It's still showing 22 grams on that one. Um, the next one I've got is this Ideal Shade Tinted Moisturiser. Um, I tend to use this with the cashmere one. Um, depend the cashmere one's a little bit dark, depend and doesn't sit particularly nicely on the skin, so it just helps it um, sit on the skin a bit better. It doesn't give it a whole much, lot of a glow, but just seems to help it sit better. Um, so that is my last mark on there. As you can see, there are a few marks on there. I've been working on this one for a little while. Um, this one started off at 35 grams and is now down to 34 grams. Um, the other foundation I've got is this Skin Goodness Minerals Foundation, another old Avon one. Um, I don't seem to have a line marked on that one. I didn't use this one a lot. I don't think that it's gone down. No, it was 34 grams, still 34 grams. But you can see that it is probably about halfway done as well. Something I've got a fair bit of um, usage on heading now into blushes Ooh, that place would be noisy um, is this Physicians Formula Blush you can see that there's now a reasonable bit of pan in that one. It started off the year with a tiny bit of pan but I'm slowly expanding that um, slowly getting there on that one Um, my micellar water is now down to that little green mark there. You can just see it above that straight line there from the R in Friday. Um, slowly making progress on this. Started off um, the year at 69 grams, and this one's now down to 78 grams. So I am. Um, getting some usage on it. Um, go on to some lip stuff now. This um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lip Gloss um, Lip Balm um, I used to measure it by squeezing the air out but it started to crack at the top so now I've been storing it that way instead um, which makes it hard to actually measure the progress it seems to be sitting somewhere around about there um, but for this one um, I guess it's a fairly dense thing because it has it was at 14 grams at the beginning of the year and it's now at 12 grams and I don't feel like I've actually used it a great heap so that's some 
pretty good progress. I mean, it's a, it's supposedly 10 grams in that little tube, so I'm assuming that it is a reasonably dense product, and that's why you don't need a lot to see a big movement in the weight of it. Um, some other lip things I've got. This um, Planet Spa Lip Balm from Avon. Um, I realised the other day I've actually hit pan in that. Um, yeah, you can just sort of see it there. There's a bit right in the middle where those two dots are. It's a bit... My dog got a hold of it. Um, so there are a few teeth marks in it. So you can see those two dots where his teeth have gone through them. Um, put a hole in the writing on the back. Um, so that's about where it's hit pan. I That kind of was a surprise to me. I went to use it one day and obviously got the light in the right place and went, ah, oh, I have pan on that. Um, I got down a fairly big dip in it quite a while ago and then started um, concentrating on using the outside. My mum did use it the other day and I'm wondering if she's gone right in the middle um, and made that pan or expanded that pan because it was a surprise to me when I realised that I had pan in that one. The other thing, the other lip balm I've got is this Let Them Eat Cake from Lush, which is really old. Um, it's actually almost 10 years old. started to dry a bit. Um, yeah, so I didn't actually measure this at the beginning of the year. I came across it um, after I finished up um, another product and was looking for something for my A to Z project pan. And I'm going to try and use that one up. There's not much left in there. Um, I have a number of lip balms on the go. don't particularly like pot ones at work, but um, I reckon I can probably get that one done by the end of the year. Oh, my mum's friend the magpie's back. My mum has a couple of magpies that she feeds, and they tend to rock up about now, so one of them just is. There's usually a second one. don't know where he's gone. Maybe he's out there, maybe he's not. Um, another lip gloss lip colour. This is a um, Baby Lips Super Shock. Um, not Super Shock. Um, Electro Pop in Pink Shock. Um, I've actually made a lot of progress on this. This is the one that lives in my pocket. It's the sort of thing I can just sort of chuck on without looking too much as long as I sort of keep it in the middle, sort of smack my lips together. It sort of goes out and gives a little bit of colour but nothing too excessive. I've actually um, used up a lot of this. You can see that I'm now down to that green line. I've measured it from about there. So I'm now up to that green line. And as you can see, that was the last mark. That black one there. And now I'm at that green one there. Um, I actually have it marked. Yeah. That's a better one of it. Um, so I was at that pink mark. Now I'm at that purple mark starting from the edge of this page. So definitely should have that one used up by the end of the year. I don't love it, don't hate it. Um, the packaging annoyed me when it was new. It started off sitting about there and you couldn't wind it down any further. So that was the main reason I wanted to try and get rid of that one. And as you can see, made a fair bit of progress on that. Okay, now on to some eye stuff. Okay. This is an Avon eyeliner in Plumful, um, Super Shock eyeliner. Um, this I've made a fair bit of progress on. Um, so I was at the pink line, uh, and now I'm at that purple line. This, this first couple at the top, I start. I was working backwards, so was there now there. So slowly but surely getting through that one. Um, it's really old, getting quite dry. I really want to get rid of it. I don't know how far down it goes. There's a sort of a plastic thing about there, so I'm assuming that I'm not going to get it down past about the bottom of that K there. Um, okay, a couple of other eyeliners I've got are these Avon Glimmer Sticks. Um, this one is now at 1.9 centimetres. Um, it was at one stage 2.2. I think I did that about December last year. So I have used up a little bit of that one in the last couple of months. Um, 
this purple one in Burgundy shop, not quite so much. Um, I've actually used up about a millimetre, but it's not really enough to measure because I'm not down under the 1.9 yet, and that started off at 2. So those two are that one, which I obviously forgot to mark earlier, and that one that's gone from the pink line to the purple line. Um, I've got this Smooth Minerals Eye Pencil in Pebble. Um, had a little bit of usage on that one, um, but not enough to actually really measure anything. Um, little little bit of usage, but not really enough to show anything. Um, one there, pick one. So, little bit, not much. Um, purple one I've used a little bit more of. This is in Amethyst, and you can see I've gone. From that pink line to that purple line, um, and I think I've even I marked it, and then I thought, you know what, I really need to sharpen that again. So it's probably a little bit less than that already, just today, just because I sharpened it a little bit. Um, with these, I don't like to have them too actually sharp. I just like to be able to use them because I use them as all over, um, so I don't really want them sharp. It might last a little bit longer that way. Um, last eyeshadow, last eye product I've got down here is this eyeshadow quad from MAC called from In The Gallery, pre-made quad. You can see that there are dips in all of those at various degrees. Um, yeah, so just working through, hoping to hit pattern on at least one of those by the end of the year, if not a couple. And then the last couple of things I've got um, to talk about a couple of shower gels um, from Lush. These are decants from um, Formula Special, uh, Formula Forum Specials. So this one is Ava Wash. No, sorry, Ava Shower. Um, I've actually used up a couple of grams of that one. Um, I've gone from 50 grams to 47 grams on that one. Um, and my early row, I've used up a gram. Gone from 55 to 54 grams for that one. Um, just a couple of shower gel decan decants I'd like to get out. Um, alrighty guys, so while I have lots of other projects in this pan, I haven't really got any usage on anything more at the moment. So um, I'm not going to bore you with those. Um, stay tuned to the next video, I might be low on things to show on progress so I may bring them out then but we'll leave it there for now okay guys thanks for watching bye